Hello everyone, this is Inma and today I'm going to show you some of the new features from Clip Studio Paint version 2.0. First of all, you'll be able to keep all your materials and your workspace layout as you did on previous Clip Studio Paint versions. I have a very specific layout I made to feel more comfortable and nothing was altered, so don't worry about updating. Clip Studio Paint 2.0 comes with a 3D head you can fully customize to meet your needs for different character features. You can edit the overall look by choosing parameters from different character types, including TV, cartoonish or male adults, and then you can customize each part by sliding the bars for lips, nose, eyes, etc. Once I have a head that fits the style I'm looking for, I lower the opacity of the 3D layer and change the layer color to blue, so it's easier to use it as guide. Now I can work on my sketch more easily. The Liquify tool allows us to edit a drawing very easily. On Clip Studio Paint version 2.0, the Liquify tool can be applied to multiple layers at the same time. This is useful when you need to edit some part but you have a bunch of layers. Just use Shift or Ctrl to select the layers you want to edit and start playing around with the Liquify tool until you get your desired result. It's time to ink and apply base color to my illustration. There's a new feature on Clip Studio Paint version 2.0 that assists you with the shading process. You can apply it to a single layer or to several layers within a folder by going to the Edit menu and clicking Shading Assist. You can mark where you want the light source to be by dragging the circle around the canvas. You can also change how dark you want shadows to be on the Cell Shading mode or change the color and blending mode of highlights and shadows. You can choose smooth shading instead of cell shading for a softer look. Like before, you can edit the color of both shadows and highlights, as well as the blending mode. Make everything more or less visible by playing with the strength parameter. You can also extend shadows or make everything lighter through the shadow balance parameter. If your line art is set as the reference layer, you can click on the Refer to Lines on Reference layer for a more accurate shading. You can also change the way light is applied by choosing between two light source types, bold light and directional light. Clicking OK creates two new layers, one for highlights, the other for shadows. You can now edit those layers if you like, or create more details on different layers. There's a new feature added to the Search Layer Palette. Now you can search layers by keyword on the X version, which makes it easier to find what you want when you rename your layers. If you don't rename them, don't worry. You can still find the layer you're looking for by choosing what layer type to show. For example, vector layer if I want to find my line art. I'm going to use this character for a webcomic page to show you some more nice new features. I create my panels randomly, but I want them to be on the center of the canvas. We can do that with the new Aligned function on Clip Studio Paint 2.0. We select Canvas as the alignment base and then click on the Align Horizontal Centers button. You can find these options on the Align Distribute palette or on the Edit menu. 
We can also align layers without taking the canvas into account by choosing Alignment Object as the alignment base. I'm going to add a 3D background to my illustration to show you the next features. On the Subtool Details for the Object tool on the 3D layer, we click on Lens and then on Striton to get a less angled perspective. This will make vertical lines straighter, which is useful to get more natural backgrounds. There's also a fog function to help you create depth on 3D objects. You can play with the start point and depth parameters until you get the desired result. And also change the fog color to create specific effects to suit your scene. The last feature I'll be reviewing is the one that allows us to insert blank space between panels on a page. Imagine I realized that I want to have another panel between those two panels. Clip Studio Paint 2.0 comes with an easy way to do this. Just go to the Edit menu and click on Change Canvas Height to remove or add blank space between panels. You'll be able to decide how big or where you want the new space to be before clicking OK. That would be all for this video. These aren't the only new features that come with Clip Studio Paint 2.0, but they are definitely my favorite. Thank you very much for watching and have fun creating! Bye bye!